much of the unusual way that Adobe makes money that almost anybody with a computer, and a cell phone for that matter, uses two Adobe products, Acrobat, Reader, and, and Flash. And yet, almost none of those people pay Adobe for it. And so we shouldn't feel too sorry for Adobe, right? No, you know, the way Adobe has made money, and we are a for-profit company, uh, is that you know, we provide the ability for people to consume that content for free, and we charge the creators of that content. And so the value proposition that we have is if you are a business who wish to uh, get your information communicated, do that in PDF, and the viewing is free. A not-so-well-known uh, fact, though, is that when we first introduced Adobe Reader, uh, we tried to charge for it, and people didn't pay, and so we gave it away, and, you know, the rest, as they say, is history. So it, wasn't a, it was not initially a brilliant strategy. You came to it by, a, by trial and error. Well, I would say we respond to our customers' feedback, and so uh, the company was always founded on making sure that we can innovate, but adapting business strategy to deal with what customers tell you. Why don't we use this as an opportunity to segue into advertising, which is a, really a completely new revenue opportunity for Adobe. Would you, before getting into the Omniture acquisition, why is advertising important to Adobe? Where do you stand today on advertising revenue? Well, there are a couple of uh, things that exist today uh, by virtue of what Adobe provides. If you look at rich ads on the Internet, most of the rich ads on the Internet are in the Flash format. And they are more effective, they're more compelling. The return of investment for people you know, producing those ads using Flash is certainly higher. And let me make sure I understand, so far in your description, the revenue for Adobe in that situation is going to be the advertiser purchasing Flash to, to use it in their ads, not because you're taking a cut of the ads themselves at that point, right? That's correct. Okay. That's correct. Uh, what Omniture allows you to do, though, is Omniture is, uh, we process a trillion transactions a quarter. And so when somebody is interacting on the web, Omniture allows that publisher of that information to know who's consuming that content. Now let's take a half a step back. Omniture is the company that Adobe bought for $1.8 billion toward the end of 2009. That's correct. And caused a bit of a stir in the industry because its business is so very different from Adobe's business. You know, uh, initially uh, I would agree that there were some questions about it, but as people have digested uh, you know, the acquisition, more and more people are saying from the ability for Adobe to complete the loop and provide a complete offering to anybody who's trying to create, deliver, and monetize digital content, we are able to provide the comprehensive solution and close the loop for marketers that no other company has done traditionally. All content is moving digital. People want to know who's consuming it, and people want to know who's uh, you know, willing to pay for it. And now we can help them author that, we can help them deliver it, and we can help them with the business of that content. So uh, you know, it's not dissimilar from Macromedia, frankly. When Adobe first bought Macromedia, our stock actually took a bigger hit than when we bought Omniture. So I think some of that just comes with the nature of uh, M&A and software.